so we've come out to the Black Rock Desert, which is one of our favorite places on Earth. And we came out here in search of water on the playa. It's been one of the biggest snow seasons on record. So I figured there'd be quite a bit of water out here. This is an ancient lake bed. And uh, we came out here a few years ago and there was a pretty big pool of water, except it was much closer to where the road is. I found some, I flew my drone up and I found some, but it's pretty deep on the playa. So we decided to drive out to scope it out and uh, almost got stuck. We got, we made some pretty good ruts and uh, we were able to kind of turn around. So just turned around and then parked and then uh, we just decided to hike out there because it was only about a half a mile further. And uh, took the dogs out there, they ran around, that was fun. But now I'm building out the camera to go back out there and shoot because I'm brilliant and didn't bring a backpack. Um, like I mentioned last time, we just drove right up to the edge of the water and I kind of expected the same, but um, that's not gonna be the case this time. So this time I'm gonna build the camera, we're gonna hike it out there and hopefully get a nice shot. I'm not gonna stay for sunset like I kind of anticipated. There's a lot of clouds on the far horizon, so I don't suspect sunset will be anything um, over the top. So I'm gonna finish building this out. We're gonna hike out there and uh, see if we can't get like a nice, like kind of evening-ish uh, reflection shot. Okay, so we've made it to the edge of the water and I'm gonna lower the tripod a bit because I wanna be kind of low to the water to get that kind of perfect reflection. So I'm gonna do that before I'm out there fiddling with stuff over top of the alkaline water. Okay, so I think I found a composition. It's pretty, pretty simple, which is kind of what I'm looking for here balances having a very simple foreground and a very simple subject so it all works out so I've just framed it up just perfectly even so there's an even amount on top of sky and an even amount underneath of water and I think that's what I'm gonna go with okay so this shot is f28 1 30th of a second it's actually 120th, so I'm gonna go with 115th of a second and I'm gonna close down just a little bit more. Okay. It's so slurpy out here. Okay, so this is gonna be on Ektar 100. Well, what a way to kick this YouTube channel off with a steaming hot pile of this. I'll be honest, there's basically nothing I like about this composition. Uh, I've clipped the clouds on the top and the bottom, and uh, I got some weird development mistakes it looks like. These almost look like air bubbles that were on the negative. And as you can see, there is a metric butt ton of dust on this image. But that's okay, I didn't bother cleaning it up because I don't expect this to be in my portfolio. Uh, I just wanted to show this, and if anyone has any tips, as I'm still learning as well, uh, of why these weird bubble-shaped things are here, that'd be great to know. And I also looks like I got a little bit of a weird development mistake on the edge here. So if you have any input of how to make that not happen, I'd love to hear it. So I've got one more shot of Ektar. I'm going to recompose and kind of shoot towards... Um, black rock. So there's actually a, a real black rock, which is what the desert's named after. And it's right out there. 
and actually right underneath it is a hot spring. So I'm going to use my last piece of film to shoot that direction. I think I'm going to change my mind now that I'm under here looking at it. I think it's just a better composition shooting the same thing I just shot. Except this time, I'm going to get more, more clouds. I'm going to frame in a little more of the sky. So I'm going to go with the same settings because the light really hasn't changed. I think this composition is just too good to pass up, so I'm going to go with this. It's a really nice balance with these clouds and I kind of shifted the lens down a little bit to get just a little more of the foreground. Okay, last shot. One thirtieth of a second, F28, Ektar 100. Well, I'm glad I recomposed this shot and shot again because I do like this one a lot better. Compositionally, it's much nicer with the clouds not being clipped on the top and the bottom. And there's just some nice balance to it, although it looks a little not level. And again, I'm getting the same weird development mistakes on the edge here. I didn't bother cleaning this up too much because again, this won't be in my portfolio. Okay, I'm trying to scramble for one last shot here something pretty low and uh, using these cracks in the foreground is kind of a compositional element. I'm going to shoot directly into the sun which is usually a no-no especially with 4x5 you get some weird sun stars but I, I, the sun is also kind of going behind some clouds so I'm hoping I can get away with this. Okay so for this one I'm using a little bit of a shift to get the clouds in the place I want them to be in. I'm going to put the sun completely middle of the composition. And I'm hoping I can use a little bit of lens tilt here to kind of get everything in focus. I think that's acceptably sharp. I haven't done an image like this with extreme lens tilt. Let's see how that goes. So because I'm doing such a large amount of tilt here, I'm going to stop the lens down pretty far. I'm going to stop it down to 32. And we'll close the lens down. Cock the shutter. Okay, F32, 1 15th of a second, Ektar 100. Well, here it is, my one saving grace from this trip. I actually quite like this image. Typically when you shoot into the sun, you get nasty sun flares from these old lenses. And you can see a little bit of a pentagon flare in there, but I don't find it too distracting. And actually, I think it adds a nice element to it. It gives it that glowy, warm feel I was going for. And I'm also playing into the strengths of large format photography here. Using some lens tilt, I was able to get this foreground super sharp. It's sharp from the front all the way back to these mountains. And that's one of the real nice benefits of shooting on a large format camera. Pretty happy with this one. Well, that wraps it up for this week. Um, you know, Black Rock's just a really nice special place for us. This is where Burning Man held, is held every year and it's just become a part of us. So it's just nice to come out here and shoot some photography. And while I didn't quite get exactly what I wanted, I think I still hopefully walked away with something nice. So. A couple experiments, some muck muck, some fun tired dogs, and uh, I consider that a good little mission. So I'll hopefully be back with you guys in maybe a week or two with another adventure. And uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. And I uh, hope you subscribe, like, comment, do all those YouTube things. Thanks for following along.